At this time, we're going to go to item F, the city manager's report. Mrs. Rose, do you have anything to report? Yes, ma'am. Um, good afternoon, Mayor and Council. There are three items I would like to bring to your attention, two of which will take place in the well. Uh, but I would like to talk about the first item here. Uh, this is in reference to our solid waste department. Um, I don't think a lot of people are aware of uh, what I'm about to say about this, our solid waste department. It is good news, by the way. Um, our solid waste department uh, has worked with our United States State Department to host the international visitors for the past two years. Uh, we were recently notified that the city of Corpus Christi has become a designated international visitor location for international best practices in solid waste services. Along with the designation from the State Department, staff has also been invited to speak uh, at the Solid Waste Institute of Sustainability at the end of this month um, in Arlington, Texas. Staff will be part of a panel on international best practices in solid waste. What I am basically saying is that our solid waste department um, is now being able to share what we do here in Corpus Christi internationally um, as best practices. Uh, I wanted to take the time to say thank you to the solid waste director, if you could please stand, Lawrence. Um, this department, um, this, is a, this is very good for us to be able to share information internationally. That means people from all over the world is interested in knowing how we do business uh, as it relates to solid waste. And I wanted to take the time to let uh, you counsel as well as the citizens be aware of that. The next two items will only take a few minutes, but I need to go to the well. Okay, Mayor and Council, we would like to acknowledge our employee of the year. If Jerry could please come forward, that would really be nice. While he's coming, I wanted to, I don't like the bill. Okay, I'm good, okay. Um, we actually have through our human resources department, we have what we call uh, employee of the quarter. Uh, and we celebrate every quarter um, employees who've gone beyond the call of duty uh, in, in providing services to the community. But at the end of the year, we actually uh, take those employees that were employees of the quarter and we select an employee of the year. Um, I am very pleased to introduce the 2016 employee of the year. This is Ms. Can you hear me now? Okay. So the employee of the year for 2016 is Gerardo Jerry Verdida. We call him Jerry. She's bringing another one. Okay, we're gonna try this again. <laughs> okay, so Jerry is the building and grounds custodian with the facilities and property maintenance department. Jerry has been an employee for 20 years and was nominated by his supervisor um, because of his attention to details, his great attitude, and his focus on customer service. Before I officially congratulate Jerry, I would like for everyone to be aware, if anyone comes in and out of City Hall, you probably have seen Jerry. Jerry epitomized what we all should be scribing for when it comes to customer service. If you go to Jerry and ask him a question, if he doesn't know the answer, he's going to take you to the person that probably knows the answer. Uh, he has a great attitude. No matter how 
bad things are, you can always look to Jerry. I would like to congratulate Jerry. He is an awesome employee. And I know that we have a lot of other Jerry's in uh, the organization, but because he is the 2016 Employee of the Year, wanted to really recognize you. So congratulations, Jerry. So Jerry's shy, okay? <laughs> Okay, so the last item is um, we would like to recognize our engineering employee. Um, if Jennifer could please come forward. Hi. So I would like to introduce Jennifer Escobedo Ramirez. She was honored recently as a Corpus Christi under 40 an honoree, which is sponsored by the Young Business Professionals of the Costa Bend. Jennifer is the contract slash funds administrator for our engineering department, and she has been with the city for five years. Jennifer plays an active role in the community as a member of the Junior League, the Windsor Park Elementary PTA, and the Padre Soccer Club. I wanted to take a few minutes and to um, introduce Jennifer to everyone, and we are very pleased that you were recently honored and wanted everyone to know it, so thank you. Thank you very much, Council. Yeah. 